Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm taking you through my leg shaving routine. So first and foremost, you want to make sure you're exfoliating your legs before you do anything. So I've listed some of the benefits of exfoliation here for you guys, so you can take some time to read it. However, really briefly, I exfoliate to basically prevent ingrown hairs and to make my skin smoother. It just makes the blade glide a lot smoother so you know that you're getting rid of the hair from the root without any disruption of dead skin cells. Um, and I use exfoliation gloves because for me, they are gentle, but they are also effective and they are cheap. So, you know, it's got all the ticks on there. So um, you want to do this in like circular motions. That's what's really going to make sure that you're getting rid of any dirt or dead skin cells, basically. So after this, I rinse my legs with like lukewarm water. Um, this just makes the hair softer and it prepares it for shaving. But before I do this, I go into my second step of exfoliating, which you'll see in a moment right here. So I use a body scrub as well because I do not play around when it comes to ingrown hairs, you guys. It's like very important to get rid of like dead skin cells before you shave if you don't want ingrown hairs or like um kp i'm very very serious this is like the key to having smooth skin exfoliate um you don't have to exfoliate twice like me but i do because it helps me um and especially if you've got drier skin i definitely recommend it so next i'm going in with some shaving cream um i'm going in with this sensitive shaving cream because it is amazing it's got aloe vera in it and as you guys may or may not know aloe vera helps heal the skin and soothe the skin so it's like perfect for shaving and perfect for anyone that has sensitive skin so i prefer to use shaving cream now because i realized that the blade glides a lot smoother than a conditioner does so you're basically least likely to cut yourself which is amazing because nothing worse than cutting yourself when shaving so as you can see here i've applied a very thick layer and um you really don't need to make it this thick you guys but um i just go overboard all the time so basically you want to apply the shaving cream um in a moderate amount and next up, I'm going in with these Big Soleil razors. I absolutely love these razors, you guys. They are amazing. I highly recommend them for anyone out there. Basically, I've also listed some like razor advice and tips for you guys if anyone is unsure. But basically, you want to look out for razors that have three or more blades in them. Just because these are the blades that are sharp enough to get the hair at the root. So um, when you don't get the hair at the root, it can cause ingrowns. It causes the hair to grow in like inwards so basically to avoid that try and get a sharp razor with preferably three or more blades and this here is how I shave so I shave in an upward direction so rule of thumb is make sure you're shaving in the direction of your hair growth so if you remember that you will basically never go wrong and it just helps give you a closer shave so again that avoids any razor bumps or anything like that so this is how I shave and then again I'm rinsing it off with some warm water So after I shave, I always make sure I moisturize my skin when it's dry. So I've listed some of the importance of moisturizing right here for you guys. But basically, to summarize, it basically adds moisture back into your skin. Because when you shave and you exfoliate, you're basically stripping your skin off moisture, which can cause dryness, irritation, and so forth. So make sure you are moisturizing. And the moisturizer you pick is very important depending on what you're struggling with. So for those that do struggle with things like strawberry skin, look for moisturizers that have salicylic acid in it or um, acids that help target those factors. Or if someone has dry skin, look for moisturizers that have hyaluronic acid in them instead. So don't forget to add a body oil to your routine, you guys, especially at the end. I tend to use a body oil, especially after I finish shaving, because like I said, your skin is a lot drier than it normally is because the razors and the exfoliators, they strip the moisture. So make sure you 
lock-in that moisture using a body oil um you can use any um i like this one because it smells like coconut <laughs> but sometimes i use the palmer's one so it really does not matter just make sure you're using some kind of oil and i don't know if you guys can tell but to me my skin here looks really really smooth and i'm like pleased with the results so just make sure that you are exfoliating picking the right razor and moisturizing after so if you just follow those three things you too will get your desired skin so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you have any comments in the comment section i'm available to answer you guys um thank you